Students, in this video, we will learn the Hayes bridge. This is basic bridge and when it is balanced, Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. In basic bridge, if we take all these components like this, then this derived bridge is known as Hayes bridge. This is the advanced form of Maxwell's bridge. The Maxwell's bridge is only appropriate for measuring the medium quality factor. For measuring the high quality factor, the highest bridge is used. This is detector D, which is generally either a pair of headphones or null detector. And this is an AC source. This bridge is used to measure self-inductance L in terms of C4, R4. Now, if we compare these two bridges, then it is found that Z1 equal to R1 plus J omega L1, Z2 equal to R2, Z3 equal to R3, and Z4 equal to R4 plus 1 upon J omega C4. Now, the bridge balance condition for the basic bridge is Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. Substituting the values of these relations, we get R1 plus J omega L1 into R4 plus 1 upon J omega C4 equal to R2 into R3. First of all, we will simplify these brackets. Therefore, R1 plus J omega L1 into bracket J omega R4 C4 plus 1 upon J omega C4 equal to R2 R3. Now, transfer this J omega C4 on right side. And then expanding these brackets, we get J omega R1 R4 C4 plus R1 plus J square omega square L1 R4 C4 plus J omega L1 equal to J omega R2 R3 C4. Now this J square equal to minus 1. Hence, this term has negative sign. So we transfer it to the right hand side. Therefore, J omega R1 R4 C4 plus R1 plus J omega L1 equal to J omega R2 R3 C4 plus omega square L1 R4 C4. Now equating real and imaginary part, we get for real part R1 equal to omega square L1 R4 C4, say equation 1. And for imaginary part, J omega R1 R4 C4 plus J omega L1 equal to J omega R2 R3 C4. Cancelling J omega throughout the equation, we have R1 R4 C4 plus L1 equal to R2 R3 C4, say equation 2. These two equations are not final equations for the bridge valence because in both the equations contains R1 and L1 both. So, we will do some more simplification. For that, put the value of R1 in equation 2 from equation 1. Thus, we obtain omega square L1 R4 C4 into R4 C4 plus L1 equal to R2 R3 C4. Simplifying, we get omega square L1 R4 square C4 square plus L1 equal to R2 R3 C4. By taking L1 common from these two terms, we get L1 into bracket 1 plus omega square R4 square C4 square equal to R2 R3 C4. Making L1 subject of the formula, we have L1 equal to R2 R3 C4 upon 1 plus omega square R4 square C4 square, say equation 3. Here L1 depends on omega, that is frequency. Now putting this value in equation 1, we have R1 equal to omega square R2 R3 R4 C4 square upon 1 plus omega square R4 square C4 square, say equation 4. Now we have these equations for L1 and R1, which depends on non-parameters. These are the bridge valence conditions. We will make some more simplification. Now look at this figure. Here in this arm, R4 and C4 are in series 
and hence its quality factor is written as q equal to 1 upon omega r for c4 with this value equation 3 and 4 can be written as l1 equal to r2 r3 c4 upon 1 plus 1 upon q square say equation 5 and r1 equal to omega square r2 r3 r4 c4 square upon 1 plus 1 upon q square say equation 6 if q is high so that 1 plus 1 upon q square approximately 1 and therefore this equation reduces to l1 equal to r2 r3 c4 say equation 7 and r1 equal to omega square r2 r3 r4 c4 square say equation 8 hence with certain approximation we made l1 independent of the frequency but till r1 is frequency dependent yet these two conditions are not independent of each other so far bridge balance we have to follow certain rule here r2 r3 and c4 all these components are present in both the equations so for bridge balance we follow the rule that is we adjust c4 and r4 but we will start to adjust r4 first for condition of this equation 8 and then c4 for the balance of this condition 7 then again r4 and then c4 like this r4 c4 r4 c4 and so on if we inverse the process means start first with adjustment of c4 and then r4 then we cannot able to balance the bridge now we will calculate parameters first impedance angle theta using general formula for r1 l1 series connection for our bridge we write 10 theta equal to omega l1 upon r1 by substituting the values of l1 r1 from equation 3 and 4 we get 10 theta equal to this this one is cancel with this one and also omega r2 r3 and c4 cancel with this at denominator and therefore 10 theta equal to 1 upon omega r4 c4 and therefore theta equal to 10 inverse 1 upon omega r4 c4 this is the impedance angle of the bridge now power factor cos theta power factor for r1 l1 series connection is defined as cos theta equal to R1 upon R1 plus J omega L1. Substituting the values of R1 and L1 from equation 3 and 4, we get cos theta equal to this one. This bracket part is cancelled with this. Therefore, cos theta equal to omega square R2 R3 R4 C4 square upon omega square R2 R3 R4 C4 square plus J omega R2 R3 C4. Dividing numerator and denominator by omega square R2 R3 R4 C4 square, we have cos theta equal to 1 upon 1 plus J upon omega R4 C4, or cos theta equal to 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon J omega R4 C4. Now quality factor. it is defined as for r1 l1 series q equal to omega l1 upon r1 substituting the values of l1 and r1 from equation 3 and 4 we obtain q equal to 1 upon omega r4 c4 here quality factor q is inversely proportional to capacitance it means a capacitor of low capacitance is provide high quality factor a capacitor of low capacitance which is small in size and low in cost so this bridge is used for high quality factor that is this bridge is used for quality factor greater than 10 dissipation factor 
it is defined as df equal to r1 upon omega l1 or which is equal to 1 upon q therefore we can write directly using the formula of quality factor that is df equal to omega r4 c4 that's all in next few videos we will discuss the ac bridges to find capacitances